Hello again. I want to quickly continue with the Methuselah's messages. In this segment, I'm going to be reading four to six. Again, these are assisted writings that um, have come through me from 2003 up till 2006. Number four, 121703. Fortunately, you have taken the time to record ourselves. Move your own mind to the side in preparation for our full response to your request. Though this sounds personal to me, I really believe it's for everyone. Fill your hearts at this time with rejoicing to where you have come. We have come far. Remember to state your intentions when planning future events. State your intentions when planning future events. Remove your fear blockages. All is possible within the mind. Reframe your beliefs. Construct a vast array of concepts. Fortune shines on your desire to succeed. Feed your body well. Meld yourselves in true healing. Forget who you think you are. Remember who you are now, the once and future you. Respond to your desire to sit with us. Increase sensitivity to our request to speak, for now we stay just out of sight. Return, return, return to the natural state. That state of being awareness. Be who you are here now. Sit with that one, that angel. Remember her soul intention or your soul intention. Wrap your arms around her desire to blend with you. Your mind remembers and your body responds to her music. Your mind remembers and your body responds to her music. The flow of life resonates through her, her body to yours. Keep the body healthy to receive all the frequencies of the expansion codes. Drink some water, people. Remain calm in order to facilitate your arrival to this realm. Follow your heart. Know the lady. Her wisdom guides, you, guides your desire and all is well done. Know that you are trusted. Yes, you are. Your competence is unquestioned. Dream more for yourself, for it will be as you see. Follow your heart again. Move to the places that lighten your spirit. Allow a merging of new energies to flow into your awareness. Remember who you are. Keep the hearth aflame. Light the beacons to call in others of like mind to work more closely with your desires. Curiosity is the gift that you brought. Share it freely with those who you would consider family. Remember who they, you are. Comfort yourself knowing we are always with you and whether you choose to accept it or not. Comfort yourself knowing the mission is accomplished. Tides have turned and the way is now clear to proceed. As you have described, imagined, the road is built before you by your intent Intend the best. Intend well. Your work is supported. Believe you can. Know you are. Making change is slow, but frequencies are solidly stable. This combination creates more than potential for success. It guarantees it. Adonai. Number five. Respond to a call deep within your being. Know the road is well-traveled. Those before you have left a trail to trod. 
vanquish all fear motives. Trepidation is unneeded and unnecessary. Many have left clues for your experience to roll onto and to explore. Remember you, I am that I am awareness. Resolve this, this discrepancy in your self-perception. The challenge is lesson as your concepts of reality change. Recommend these new concepts and the reaction will be swift. Recognize your role in founding a new thought matrix. Control the ego as you have done. Know your role is as millions of others and play your part to the hilt. Which invoked the image of a sword for me. Adane. Number six. Last one, almost done. Frequency linkages to your DNA continue to evolve at a rapid rate. New sound and new colors will soon be experienced by many. Photography tends to capture the new light. Study anomalies captured. I just watched a DVD called Capturing the Light. Mm -hmm. Prepare your perception for an increased rate. Contain your thoughts in an aura of hopefulness. Positive intention helps restore order. Rebalancing the habits formed by living under the fear grid for so long. The liberation of the humans of Earth is a top priority. Liberation of subtle emotional, mental, and finally spiritual constructs. Rely on others as well as yourself. Consider them worthy to hold their tasks. And I do you. Continue priming the pumps of awareness. Continual holding of your frequency allows others to create an expansion within their fields. And so on and so on. Remain open and calm and suspended over your intention for expansion at this time. Arrange your home, do your chores, relax. Wait for it. Your past work will now collect up and catapult you to horizons not yet thought of. Many adventures await you. Relax and enjoy this time that you have with self. Experience self as relaxed. Retain balance through this relaxation. Mind your soul during meditation, stretching, breathing, and reflection. Your job is to experience self and contain a purer extract of your goals' intentions. Recommend this technique to others to hone intention away from survival to spiritual living. From this will flow abundance for your health and enjoyment. Remember who you are, you out there. At this crossroads, we await your arrival, as it will be you who travels to us, and not the other way around. Mecca is calling, will you answer? Adonai. Let me know what you think. Hope that meant something to you. Peace out.